All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the Alpha Loon template for my pretty pinwheels bracelet design. And yeah, so here is the template on the screen. And well, how you would go about reading this template to make the bracelet is you would start here. You would start by reading the top numbers. And you start over here with column 1, place all those bands underneath, represented as squares. Then you would move on to column 2, place all the bands represented as squares, and then go all the way through the template, all the way until you get to column 14. And once you placed all the bands that are here underneath column 14, you would go back to column 1, and you would just start over through the template, and keep repeating it until you make the design long enough for a roll until you make the design the length you need it to be. Alright, so if you would like to get a slightly longer version of this template or just want to download, well yeah, get a template that you can download and potentially print if you have a printer, then I will have a link in the description to a website where you can get this template, or slightly longer one, and you can print and download and all that stuff and use it so you have your own. Or I will be just kind of holding it for you to look at during, well for a few seconds you can make it, but anyway. Also in the description I will have three links to a tutorial, well each going to a tutorial, and they show you how to make alpha loom bracelets. Now one of them is going to show you how to make it on the alpha loom, Another is going to show you how to make it on a rainbow loom, or any loom that's like a rainbow loom, and it has like the spaces in between the pin bars and stuff. And then the last tutorial will show you how to make alpha loom bracelets on any loom, or basically just two pins. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for that stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the bands you need. So there's a minimum of four groups that you need. But I recommend using more than just four colors. I recommend using five different colors and then connector bands. But I'll get to that in a minute. So one group of bands you'll need, which is these light blue turquoise and then these navy blue bands. You're going to need one for pretty much the border that surrounds the pinwheel. So these like teal, turquoise, blue green, aqua green, whatever you call them these squares here and then also the blue dark blue navy blue whatever you call this color or this color here and then you'll need another color for the inside spaces and they're kind of like the background and there are these white squares with all these little lines on them to show that there's a rubber band there are all these white squares here on the template then the last group that's going to be actual colors will be the actual pinwheels and there are these orange squares and the yellow squares and then the last group of bands you'll need will be the connector bands and you can't really see them here on the template because they're not really shown but the connector bands what they do is they make your pretty pinwheels bracelet possible by connecting all seven rows of the design together so you can kind of see them when you Turn your bracelet to the side like this. And yeah. So in the description I'm going to have the number of bands you'll need to complete this template here once. And then you just use that to figure out how many bands you need total for your bracelet. And yeah, also... For the bands that I recommend using, I recommend, well, any bands will work for this design. I just have this Alpha Loom version right here, or the Alpha Band version. And if you want more little pretty pinwheels, because this design is quite long, as you can see, the pinwheels are slightly different. This one is kind of pointing to the, well, it's going clockwise, that's what it is, kind of pointing clockwise. And then this other one's pointing counterclockwise. And so, since the design is pretty long, I would recommend using alpha bands or capped regular bands so you can fit more of them on a bracelet. 
And what I mean by capped regular bands is you literally just take a regular band, so not an alpha band, you twist the band, and then you fold it like a book back on top of itself. And what you do is you create a cap band out of this ordinary band, and all you have to do is just use it like this. Just like an ordinary band, or like an alpha band. And yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hold the template up again, and then you can just use the pause button so you can make it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off the screen now. And, well, I think that's actually pretty much all I have to say for this video. So, in the description, I have those tutorials and also the link to the, the longer template whenever it gets uploaded to the website. And, yep, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Other than thanks for watching, and bye!